Um, I, I think uh, Ms. Walsh has um, at, least, uh, at least once, maybe a couple of times, alluded to the power of miners and specifically the power of miners to decide which transactions get put into the block and when. And I think it's fair to say that the, the insinuation is that they may have uh, motives and self-interest that um, might cause them to make decisions that would not um, necessarily be expected by the users, that they're uh, nefarious may be too strong a word, but that there is a self-interest that might cause them to engage in some kind of distortion. So how should we think about the miners and their power to decide which transactions get put into the block and their whole role in the validation process? Sure. So what we have to understand is that miners cannot redirect, steal, or initiate a user's payments. Um, they can, however, affect the order that payments are confirmed on the blockchain during the, the periodic moments uh, when they successfully mine the next block. So they can't block you from, from making a transaction that you want to make. They can just uh, say in what order in the block are you located. Now, this is not a problem in the general case of a person sending money to another person on uh, the, the Bitcoin blockchain, for example, right? Has no effect whatsoever. It can be a problem in decentralized exchange transactions on something like Ethereum uh, when miners use their ability to order transactions to their advantage. The same problem uh, exists in traditional financial markets. It's why high-speed traders um, build proprietary infrastructure to get their trades in as soon as possible. Um, it's why this committee rightly discusses uh, payment for order flow. So. The problem is very similar. One advantage of decentralized finance is that the blockchain reveals these strategies publicly rather than happening secretly, right, thanks to murky, you know, internal policies at a large financial institution. Speaking generally, to the extent that we believe that there is a lack of fairness in these trading systems, one of the best solutions is to implement alternative market mechanisms that reduce the advantages of transaction ordering, right? You can change the design of the exchange. And since the exchange designers don't want this to happen, don't want the miners to be doing this, the participants certainly don't want this, there's every incentive to exchange that exchange mechanism, right? Many economists now favor using frequent batch auctions rather than continuous order books uh, for transactions in order to prevent these problems. And what's interesting is that uh, if we were going to change from a continuous order book to uh, uh, frequent batch auctions at... CME or the New York Stock Exchange ever require one massive institutional change. With crypto, it's trivially easy for anybody to build a competing exchange that uh, uh, users will go to. And indeed, we've seen this, and we're, we're beginning to see this. And also, the, de the developers of the Ethereum network itself don't want to see this, and they are going to be addressing the problem uh, as well.